an SUV. Automobili Lamborghini, the house of the Raging Bull. Since their first car, they've established themselves as a leader in mold-breaking design and ground-shaking performance. Sport utility vehicles are the fastest growing segment of the automotive market, and they're by far the most profitable. Lamborghini's hope is that this time, the S in SUV stands for supercar. We're about to go bumper to bumper on the Lamborghini Urus. Urus? <laughs> Urus. 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 Part of being an SUV means you have to look like an SUV. So if you don't like those, you won't like this. But I love SUVs because I want to have kids one day. Conceding that it looks like an SUV, the Urus still looks very much like a Lamborghini. Iconic shapes and details can be immediately recognized from the hexagonal elements, the hood center peak, and the cross lines on the rear doors, the extreme proportions and singular silhouette line. Further drive home the fact that this SUV came from Santa Agata Bolognese. There's hints of the LM002 here on the hood in what Lamborghini calls the Power Dome. And no, by Power Dome, I don't mean a lot of fun on a Saturday night. I mean this thing. It's supposed to hint at the power and position of the engine. One of my favorite elements of this car is the frameless doors. I mean, where have you seen that in another SUV? It's a nice little to Marcello Gandini's Countach and Mira. The more you know. You know what else screams, hey, I'm a Lamborghini? Big ass wheels. Comes with 21 standard. These are the optional 22s, and you can also get them in 23s. Like Michael Jordan, that was his number before he came back. He's 45, but you can't get 45 because that would be too big. But yours is meant to be tracked, daily, and even taken off-road to get muddy. So Pirelli manufactures no less than six different tires for the gravel bull. These are the Pirelli P0 Max Performance Summer Tires because we live in Los Angeles, and today is the only day it's rained in the past 25 years. They are undeniably Lamborghini. A look that is only buttressed by these massive calipers and rotors. The Urus has the biggest from factory brake rotors ever on a production car. Look at the size of that thing. Carbon ceramics are standard and they measure a whopping 17.3 inches up front. To put that into perspective, this is the biggest pizza that the best producer I've ever worked with could find. And it's over an inch smaller than the front rotors. It tastes better than carbon ceramic though, that's for sure. <laughs> the Otis, the Otis, the Otis is the fastest factory SUV in the world with a top speed of an insane 195 miles an hour. It gets to 60 from a stop in just 3.6 seconds, which is one tenth of a second slower than the Jeep Trackhawk SRT, which I've been in. I poop my pants. Oh my God. The Urus gets its name from um, a bull. <laughs> but the Urus isn't just any bull. It was a legendary European wild ox. They've since gone extinct and become a thing of legends. A primal, legendary wild bull to which all other bulls must bow? That's a good name for a Lamborghini SUV. I just want to point out mud because this thing really does go off-road. It was filthy when it showed up. They offered to clean the inside, but we said no. Let them see what the Urus is capable of. And in this case, it's off-road fun, man. While Lamborghini has been known for massive, naturally aspirated mid-engine V10s and 12s, the Urus breaks this convention in favor of something a bit more practical because you know, when you're buying a $200,000 SUV, you're looking for practicality. Under its front hood, you'll find a modified version of Audi's four liter V8, an engine the Urus shares with other VW group performers like the Porsche Cayenne Turbo and the Panamera Turbo and the Audi RS7. This thing is basically a lifted RS7. The engine pushes out 651 horsepower and 627 pound-feet of torque. And for the first time, Lamborghini is using forced induction from the factory. It uses a twin turbo setup, or bi-turbo, as they say in Europe. 
Like this video, buy my shirt. Like this video, buy my shirt. Donutmedia.com, like button. Another reason for a smaller engine is weight conservation. The Rambo Lambo tipped the scales at about 6,000 pounds, but the Artus, thanks to that VA and strategic use of carbon fiber throughout, weighs only 4,850 LBs, giving it a remarkable power to weight ratio. Power that drives through an eight-speed all-wheel drive drivetrain and uses torque sensing differentials at default settings. Torque is split 40-60 front to rear, but up to 70% of the torque can be sent to the front or 87% to the rear. It all depends on drive mode and settings. It's all up to you. The great thing about making a supercar-inspired SUV is that what makes Lamborghinis great on the track lets the Urus perform well in the crud. I'm talking about four-wheel steering, adaptive air suspension, active dampers, all of which can adapt to road conditions and behave differently depending on how you set them up, which we'll get to once I'm inside, which we're gonna enter from back here. I'm gonna remind you again that unlike its supercar bro bros with only glove box storage, the Urus is designed for utility. And that means room in the back for things. The Urus has 22 cubic feet of storage space under the rear tailgate, which is roughly 21 more cubic feet than most Lamborghinis. And it increases to 56 cubic feet if you fold down the rear seats. Yeah, a Lamborghini with not only rear seats, but foldable ones. I mean, take a look at this rear lift gate. Yeah, it's an SUV, but it's unmistakably Lamborghini. It's about four feet higher than you normally find on the Lambo. And yeah, this wing is much less pronounced. But between this massive rear window, these integrated tail lights, the functional diffuser beneath the bumper, and this long cursive Lamborghini script, it harkens back to some of the iconic V12 that Lamborghini similarly covered with glass. Only here it's one piece and it's all vertical. Just starting off, it's freaking awesome in here. Well, the outside screams, Hey, I'm a Lamborghini! The inside subtly whispers, James, I'm a Lamborghini and I love you. Just like in all Lamborghinis, all of the stitching is done by hand. And just like other Lamborghinis, you can choose the wood, the leather, the thread color, carpet. The options are nearly limitless. We went to the Lamborghini factory and they literally have hundreds of colors of leather. And if you can't find one in their books, they will color to match. Like I could walk into Lamborghini and be like, can you make me a leather this color? And they'd be like, yeah, we can. And then, I would just look like a floating head driving down the road. The dash and all of the controls are definitely Lamborghini. The start stop button is like a fighter jet, just like in the Aventador, which is a trip being in a car this big with this much visibility. And here's something that I have not seen in a car before. Three screens. <laughs> one screen is for the instruments. One screen is for the infotainment. And the third is for comfort functions something new for Lamborghini. And it includes a virtual keyboard feature with handwriting recognition. Because when you drive a car like this, you don't text, you write letters. Only do that while parked. Even the windshield has options. You can even choose glass that is both heat and acoustic insulated. And for the market that the Urus is gunning for, it's important to have things in here quiet and a bit more peaceful. Because unlike most Lamborghinis, this one is built to carry babies who fall asleep on the way back from the grocery store. And only Sandra Bullock and Bird Box could miss that there's room for three or four of your friends. Don't put that in. <laughs> Every single seat has the same attention to detail that goes into the drivers, and that simply drenches the interior in luxury. You can do four bucket seats, with a rear center console or a rear bench seat to fit a total of five passengers. It all depends on how many friends you have. Do you have four friends or three? The back seats also have heating and cooling just like the front seats. <laughs> Dude, cooled seats, best invention ever. Now let's talk about the tech, because there's a lot of it. Breezing through this control panel will remind you that you're in a sports-oriented SUV. Lamborghini calls this their anima selector and says it's the secret of Lamborghini driving dynamics. You can change the spirit of the car. They adjust just about everything from torque distribution to vehicle height. Strata, or street, 
in Italian, provides ease of driving, comfort and safety. Sport, which is Italian for sport, prioritizes agility and responsiveness or funness. Corsa gives you precision and maximum performance. And unique to the Urus are three additional off-road modes. Neve, which is Latin for snow, ensures ease and safety even on slippery surfaces. Terra, dirt, and Sabia for sand. You guys know what sand is. Finally, keeping with the Jungian inspired anima name, Ego Mode is totally custom. You think that you can program it better than the guys in Italy? Be my guest, bro. There's an optional heads up display and night vision, both of which are pretty sick and will make you feel like you're in a spy movie. It also has massage seats, wireless charging in your little cubby for your phone. And one of my favorite things, which is starting to show up in these cars, the little key cabin. So the key can just chill right there. Where's the key? Oh, he's in the key cubby. The touch screens are really nice and they have haptic feedback like your iPhone. Like, you know when you're texting and it's like tick 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 Let's not forget the coolest part about a Lamborghini, the way they sound. And the Urus is no exception. SUV. Your mobile device is still in the vehicle. Whoa! Dude, the car just reminded me that my phone was in the cubby. Lamborghini is obviously hoping that Urus will be a great success, and so far the numbers look good. Lamborghini produced around 5,000 cars last year, and over 1,000 of them were the Urus. And for 700 of these new Urus owners, it was their first Lamborghini. By the end of this year, which is 2019, if you're watching this in the future, if so, try and come back and send me a message. I want to win the lottery. But by the end of this year, Lamborghini's projected to sell about 4,000 Uduses alone, almost doubling their total production. Some argue that an SUV from Lamborghini is a crime against the natural order of the automotive world. To them, I'll point out Porsche, Mercedes, Bentley, and even Aston Martin. Everyone has one. The automotive landscape is changing. Lamborghini has never been known for subtlety. And what could be less subtle? Nay, more Lamborghini than a 195 mile an hour truck. <laughs> Thanks for watching Bumper to Bumper. Every Tuesday, I'm gonna take you through all the details of all the coolest cars in the world. Up to Speed is still every Thursday. You wanna learn more about Lamborghini, check out this episode of that show. You wanna learn more about turbos, which this one has two of. Watch this episode of Science Garage. You want that air freshener or this shirt? Go to donutmedia.com and get yourself one. Thanks to Newport Beach Lamborghini for letting us borrow this car. Follow me on Instagram, at James Pumphrey. If you get 100,000 followers, I'm gonna send you a half NASCAR tire. One of you. All right, I love you.